It's important that we kind of challenge some of our mainstream ideas around who gets the right to be sexy and be beautiful and be a man and to be gay and to be, you know, all of the, the, the things that the white body is allowed to do without being contested, right? And so I want that same level of you know, opportunity to exist for the black body. And that starts with the images that we see. I'm Antoine Sargent. I'm the curator and uh, author of the new Black Vanguard, Photography Between Art and Fashion. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's just like, it was a no-brainer that this was the image when Tyler showed me. I was like, this is the cover image. <laughs> the cover is of a Somali um, Muslim model um, in a hijab, and they asked why. The book is about the intersections, you know, that um, exist within blackness. The whole premise of the new Black Vanguard is really one that shows how um, young Black creatives have kind of seized uh, the camera as a way to control their representation, as a way to kind of circumvent um, the historic discrimination that has played out in our museums and in our magazines. This is Renelle Madrino. Um, she's from the Bronx. She often thinks about, you know, women and how we're kind of photographed women, you know, um, and um, just kind of uh, there's this kind of toughness, you know, to your images that I uh, really love, and um, and that you know. She's, she's thinking about community and thinking about kind of her neighborhood. Um, some of the models are friends, family members, right? Which, which just kind of disrupts the traditional um, relationship. These people are people that, that the image makers know. It comes from an act of intimacy, right? Um, to wanting to kind of show their community, show their family, show the representational power of creating from inside the space of community. In art and fashion, there has been a lack of control of images by black people. The images that we see of ourselves shape our perceptions of who we can become. Right? So we often have walked into spaces, right, museums or magazines, um, and seeing our images or reflections of our images, but have had no control over the construction or display of those images. Um, it's no kind of, uh, it doesn't come to me as a surprise that most of the images that we encounter, whether in a museum or a magazine, are taken by straight white men. This book and exhibition is about kind of, in some ways, taking back control. You have, you know, the issue of Vogue that Tyler Mitchell took of Beyonce that really um, allowed us to kind of um, think about black photo and think about kind of the contributions of black photographers, not just in 2018, but you know, across the 20th century, right? Like when you see 300 odd pages of you know, black, one black body off the other, I hope that engenders a response from you. Um, because it's not something that we are used to seeing, right? It's not something that um, we've had the privilege um, to view. When I was thinking about the project, I thought there would be no better partner than Aperture, you know, um, given its history, given the fact that it had, you know, it's, it's published books by Micheline Thomas and Carrie Mae Ween. This book exists in that lineage, you know? And my thinking and these photographers' images um, exist among, you know, previous generations, right? And will exist among future generations. Art, you know, changes lives and it inspires people. And these photographers have inspired me. And I'm just hoping to share that um, inspiration, you know, with um, the viewers who encounter um, their work.